inside and I laugh on my own. Got all the tea and I'm hotting it up. I need a shade mansion, a room's not enough. You're dropping some shit, but that shit was a What's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. I hope everybody is having a beautiful weekend. It is great. It is great. Um, it is a snow day, so why not a better chance? or a better reason to actually do a video. So today what we're gonna do is five clubbing fragrances that every man should have in his collection. So we're gonna blow through this really quick. All right, first one up, we're gonna do a uh, Azaro Wanted. This one is a nice fragrance. It has it has that like bubble gum, playful, kind of like just fun kind of vibe to it. As you can see, I, like I blew through the bottle a little bit, like I'm like halfway through, so. I actually really did like this one. I bought this one a couple of years ago and this was like a signature staple fragrance when I first got it. Like I immediately fell in love. Um, and this was like at the beginning when I first started collecting. I really do like this one. It lasts like forever and it really gives you that nice scent bubble around you. It's loud. So if you're stepping into a room, people will smell this. A lot of people will like this. You, I don't think you'll come across a lot of people unless you're like, you know, like a fragrance snob that won't like this you'll say that it smells like Invictus and so on and so forth which I can actually attest that it probably does <laughs> just a little like there 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 is those kind of same vibes in both of them but this one is a great fragrance on its own honestly um, and you could probably pick this one up for rather cheap since it's been out for a while next one CK1 shock now I got this fragrance for about I think it was about 20 bucks when I had bought this and this is a 200 ml so this is going to last forever. So with this one here um, it has like a smoky kind of tobacco vibe to it. It's still like playful but a little bit more on the serious side. Um, people will like this. It does have a long lasting power. With this one, you'll have that tobacco, you'll have some amber in there, you'll have some patchouli in there. This is a nice scent. It smells really great. And a lot of people will like it. So when you're you know, like trying to go to the club and you want to smell really nice, um, you can pick this one up. Like this is, I like this a lot. This is good. Next up, Club de Nuit Intense Man. Now, if you've been in the fragrance game for a while or if you watched a couple of videos, you'll notice that this one is usually on people's list for good reason too. Like it, it lasts forever um, and it can save you a lot of money if you don't want to buy a vintage. So this one is by the House of Armoff. It's just a really great fragrance. Now you get that like that pineapple on the opening. It's um, people will love this fragrance on you. And overall, it's, it's a great clubbing scent that will get you noticed. So I would Definitely check into this. See if you can pick it up, try it out. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it, all right? Next one, E. Saint Laurent Y. Now this is the EDP concentration. This one opens up with a nice burst of apple. I believe it also has some bergamot in there as well. I bought this one, I believe, towards the uh, towards the earlier part of last year, maybe. I, I don't really remember when I actually purchased this. But I had this one for, I believe it was probably less than a year so far. And I really do like this fragrance as well. So some of the notes in this one, you'll get things like, you'll get some apple, you'll get some bergamot, you'll get some geranium in here. You'll get some uh, some sage as well. This is just an overall nice scent, but on the opening, it's a heavy apple scent, and it just smells really nice. People will definitely like this one on you, and it's gonna be perfect for a club environment, and you wanna just kinda stand out, all right? Next one, Armani Code Profumo. Now, this one is really, really nice. Um, it's a very serious, kind of like also playful kind of scent. This one, it just smells really great. It's something that you definitely want to have in your collection um, if you want to, you know, smell nice when you go to the club. Because honestly, that's that's what everybody wants. You know, you want to also add to the look. You want to look nice. You want to smell nice. You want to feel good. And that's exactly what this is going to help you do. Some of the notes in this one is you'll get some tonka bean, you'll get some green apple, and you'll get some cardamom in this one as well. It is a great scent to definitely have in your collection. This one is going to make you feel great, and it's also going to make the people around you like the way that you smell. So if you don't have any of these in your collection, I would advise just go ahead and check them out. It's something that's definitely worth having. Let me know what your guys go to sits are for any type of club environment or just a night out in general let me know what you guys are going to be rocking this winter remember to like 
comment and subscribe and overall just have a great weekend i'm out of here